Oh, uh, will I be giving them wooden dollars today or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we still give them dollars because they'll go towards the next um, dollars. Okay. Dollars. Mm-hmm. What'd you say? Huh? Oh, were you saying something? Oh, no, I hadn't. Oh, said you anything. said, oh, like. <laughs> I did? I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize I had done that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Lindy. Welcome. Hi there. Hey. Miss Wendy, this is Miss Marlene. Miss Marlene, this is Wendy. Miss Wendy. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Um, and Kayla. Woo yes. I got it right. <laughs> awesome. So welcome, Kayla, to our World Language and Culture class. Welcome, welcome. All right. So. Miss Marlene has up the menu, and so feel free to make sure you have all your ingredients, and we're going to get started. Um, and I know everybody else is going to come on in. Hi. Hi, Alicia. How was the the showcase last night? Oh, that was cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're kind of breaking up. Can you repeat what you said? I said when I was able to sing and cooking and show the art, they showed the art pieces. So yeah, uh -huh. I wish I had put a little collage together of all my cooking. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, then, it's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, this was my entry for the art contest. Let me show you. Yeah, I didn't win though, but this is my entry. Oh, that's adorable. Is that the Grinch right there? <laughs> and right here it says the Grinch wife. Like, right there. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. And I also, I did two entries, so, and I also did this one. Oh, that one's really cute. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, so you, huh? so you you got to sing, right? Or yeah. Finish? Yeah. Was this, so you sang your solo or just? Oh, I my solo and I'll sing to um like the Christmas one and the stay one. Yeah. Was Isabella there or was she still having? Yeah, she was there. Oh, okay. No, I was just wondering since she had issues with her computer earlier. In the uh, day. Yeah, well, she was there, but she still didn't want to sing her uh, solo. She was, I think she was nervous. Yeah, she seemed nervous. Yeah. Hi, Destiny. Hi. Yeah, will you wear lipstick? Red lipstick? Yeah, I am. I like your headphones. Okay, look what they can do. <laughs> What was that? I uh, you keep chopping up when you. I said, did you get a chance to watch Kingdom? Oh no, not yet. I haven't. Oh. I <laughs> I checked out some other show though. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you. It's a Netflix show, The Dash and Lily. Yeah, I never heard of that. It's some romance, and I'm all like, it might be good because I saw that they like talked about books and stuff, but I don't know. It's kind of the same like every other. Yeah, it's like it's not original anymore. Yeah, like they use the whole "I'm not like other girls" kind of storyline. Um, you know, I did like the movie Crazy Rich Asians. Did you watch that? Which one? Crazy Rich Asians. Oh yeah, I love that one. <laughs> that was so cute, and I love the um the, the cover of um that song, "Can't Help Falling in Love." I love that cover. Oh yeah, that whole scene was perfect. I Are we gonna get to the information at three twelve something? Oh yeah, we should get started on the information. I'm actually gonna be showing you guys a video instead. Oh cool. Yeah, let me just make sure I finish Alrighty. How's everybody? Good. Good. Awesome. Good to see you all. Welcome, welcome. Can I just We are going to be making my famous soapers today? We sure are. Um, Destiny and Alicia. Um and um I want you I want you guys to meet um Kayla. She is new to our class today. So welcome, Kayla. And um, um, her mom is <laughs> her mom is Miss Wendy. That's there. So welcome, welcome. And I just want to say you guys did a wonderful job at our showcase last night. Fantastic. In presentations, I know Alicia, you sung. I know that you um, shared about world languages and culture and you did a wonderful job. So oh, thank you. Proud. Made me very proud. Oh, thank you. Yes, and Destiny, I know you love to share. And so today, Destiny's, this is her family's famous, like she said, her famous, famoso, sopes, 
right? And so, um, and so Destiny, you're gonna show us how to make these wonderful sweaters. And, um, and so we're gonna have a lot of fun. So Miss Marlene, take it away and we're gonna get rocking. All right, so we're gonna start off with a video for today instead of me giving the information. Ah, when I think of this country, my mouth begins to water. Welcome to Mini Fantastic Facts, and today we'll be taking a trip to Mexico. So, Fernando, can you explain why this country makes you so hungry? Well, Mexican cuisine consists of a variety of interesting flavors and it's the birthplace of all kinds of delicious foods, from tacos and burritos to churros and empanadas. Wow, you weren't kidding. Mexico is also known for its love of soccer, but they actually call it football. Mexico has even hosted the FIFA World Cup on two separate occasions. That's pretty cool. You know what else is cool? La tierra, which means the land in Spanish. Mexico is home to one of the most unique agricultural systems on earth and they have their ancestors to thank for it. You see, early indigenous people and even the Aztec Empire use a system of canals to feed water to different parts of the country. These water lanes turn Mexico into one of the most fertile places on the planet. They have been used to feed people and transport goods for centuries. Wow, sounds like Mexico is full of history. It sure is! Mexico can trace its roots back to thousands of years, starting with the Olmec people who first appeared in 12,000 BC. From there, the region hosted a number of impressive ancient societies, from the Mayans to the Aztecs. In fact, the Mayan ruins of Chichen Itza still stand to this day and are now considered one of the seven wonders of the world. Food, soccer, and loads of history? What more do you need? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Junior Mojo for more funny, fulfilling, and fantastic facts. Hey Fernando, let's go get tacos for lunch. There, it should be there. So now some Spanish words that some of you may be familiar with. We're going to go over. Hola. Yes. Hola for hello. Adios. Adios. Gracias. Goodbye. Yes. Por favor. Vida. <laughs> yes, <so>. Frescas. <laughs> yes, Destiny, you know all of them. So yes, hello for hola. Goodbye for idios. Thank you for is gracias. Please is por favor. Food is comida. Cheese is queso. Beans is frijoles. Knife is cochillo. Cut is corta. Es frijoles. As I say. <laughs> yeah, I used to be able to roll my R's too, but I haven't really spoken that much Spanish in a while. So what are we doing next? More words? No, we're gonna start cooking. You yes. say okay, you got to, to make a quick call really quick to one of our teachers. But what I want you to do, and what I want you to start off with, we are going to start with our... Um, so while I'm making this quick call, um, I want you to chop your onion and wash your ground turkey because we're going to put that in to cook first. I already did that. Perfect. Okay. So then let's, we're going to saute some of, so let's cut, you already cut your onion already? Yeah. I already did my beans. Okay. So let's, um, ah, hi, Christine. Oh my goodness. Welcome. Welcome to the class. We got some new people. Welcome. All right. So, so I know Destiny, you already have yours done. So actually I'm gonna have you chop like your cilantro, your garlic, um, your, what else needs to be chopped? So anything else that needs to be chopped, you can chop it, Destiny. But for everybody else, let's go ahead and chop our onion. And let's wash our meat so we can put it into the pan. So we can get the meat going. 
Okay. Liz, do I do I do my mass out wild? Because I already did all of that. Oh, I know you have some prep already, but no, we're gonna do the mass together. So hold on. Okay. So. All right, so let's chop onions first. So Dustin, in the meantime, you can chop your cilantro. And make sure your tomatillos are washed. Yes, you got your ground turkey. Awesome. Um, um, or whatever you want to put there. If it's ground turkey, I know sometimes you have an alternative. Oh, yeah. That's Miss um, Tracy. This plant is I don't eat it with cilantro. So let's chop our onion and we're going to wash our meat so we can put it in the pot. Okay. I already did the cilantro and all this stuff. Hello. Hi, Miss Thomas. Hi, how are you guys doing? Good, and you? Good. You got on lipstick? <laughs> yes. Ah, I know there's a lot, don't I? <laughs> you look cute. That was the first thing I saw. Thank you. Okay. Destiny. Hi. Hi. Or should I say hola? You should say hola. Como estas? Como estas, Destiny? Bien. Miss Crystal, when you're done, do I have to show them how to make the masa? All right, you guys, I'm sorry about that. Okay, Miss Crystal, when you guys are done, do I have to go show you how to do the masa? Or you guys already know? Yes, you're going to show us how to do the masa, absolutely. Okay, so let's Gracias. <laughs> we are cutting up our... Um, Onions because we're going to put them in, we're going to saute them in the pot with our meat. Okay, let me do the view so you guys can see me cutting. Okay, here. All right, how are you guys coming? You're chopping up your onion? So you guys, today, today we have our college um, admissions- And career process. day? No, not college and career day, college admissions process. So this is for all of the high schoolers, okay? So um, Ms. Chris, um, Ms. De La Cruz, 
for Priscilla and Alicia for you. Um, we want to make sure that you guys are part of um, the CAP meeting. So go ahead, chop your onion. So thing is, we have to be finished. I want us to aim for 4.15. So we'll finish by 4.30. And then we can transition over to the other room. Okay, so for all the high schoolers. Okay. So rock and roll with me, you guys. Are you ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Roll? Yeah. I don't hear anybody talking. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by oh, rock and roll? I can't get my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So take off all your skin off your onion. Oh, Miss Crystal, I don't know if you heard me, but I said I got the plant beef scum, and it, it looks just like it. They made it before. It tastes really good. That's awesome. That's awesome. And so, Alicia, I love that you have an alternative, which is totally fine. And like you said, it tastes great. And um, and so, yes, yeah, so whatever. So if you're using turkey or if you're using a plant-based um uh, alternative like Alicia is that is absolutely fine and so this is our soap base we're putting it together so we're gonna um when you peel your onion because we're gonna use we're gonna use some of our onion for our meat we're gonna use some of our onion for our um our refined beans and some of it also for our um for our um our salsa verde. Have you guys ever made, have you made sopas before? Yep. Bye -bye. Yeah. All right. Miss, uh, can we go to Korea? Oh, we already went. Can we go to where? Korea. Say that one more time. Korea. Oh, to Korea. You know what? We can go to Korea for next semester. If you, if you see Black Pink there or BTS, tell me. <laughs> I'm glad that you're saying Korea because any if there are any other places for the rest of you, if there are any other places that you want to travel to, then we can actually go there in the class. Okay, so we're cutting up half of your onion. So let's cut half of your onion. And we're going to... Um, Actually, you know what? Let's cut up. Let's cut up all of our onion, but let's put half of it to the side. Yeah, I never. It'll already be, it'll already be cut for us. Oh my gosh, onions are hurting my eye. Oh, <laughs> the onions are making you cry. Yes, onions will be a little blind for some reason. Oh my eye. Miss, <laughs> I was crying. You know why? Yeah. Because I wanted to let you house. It got tears of joy. Right, there you go. Tears of joy. So cut up the whole onion? You said the purple onions? So, okay, cut up the whole onion. But since the new people are here, they can um, go to the wooden dollar store to shop, remember? Well, they've, they've, they have wooden dollars that they've earned because they've been a part of tutoring classes and stuff like that. So they have their dollars as well. Did you guys all shop? Did you put in your order? No, it's just I have to pay with PayPal. No, you don't. You have to put in the promo code. Oh, uh, it's a great job. Exactly. Great job. You're supposed to put in great job so that you can, so it doesn't charge you. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's what, so if you haven't put in your order, make sure to put in your order. Okay. So now let's put, let's get, um, let's get our fire on the stove and we're going to saute our onions. And then we're gonna put in our meat and we're gonna let that cook and cover it down, okay? And then we're gonna come back and do some more stuff here at the table, okay? All right. There's how many wedding dollars do I have? My mom didn't get the message. Yeah, I sent it to her in her text. And my babysitters, because I got two phones. I can tell you at the end. All right. Yeah. All right, so put 
put a tablespoon of olive oil and toss in your onions. Did I miss something? What'd you say? Did I miss something? My computer? No. Cut. No, you didn't miss anything. So we're putting um, some vegetables. Okay or whatever kind of oil you have in the pan and we're going to saute our onions and put in our turkey meat to cook. We're going to saute our onions and put Okay, okay. Uh-huh. These pastels on the, the sopes, they kind of remind me of um, my um, grenaches. Oh, wait, I... Did you hear me? Hello? You said they're nachos? They remind you of? It says the sopes. It kind of reminds me of, of the Belizean dish, grenaches. Oh. Yeah, because with the grenaches, um, you get tortilla, and then you um, fry the tortilla, and then you put refried beans on it, and um. And so, I used to give those at my school when I was in elementary. Oh, really? Yeah, in elementary school. Oh, that's cool. I don't okay. know why they stopped giving those. Did you like it? Yeah, they were. <laughs> everyone loved those. Um, favorite um breakfast um Belizean foods is um called fry jacks and basically it's like flour and then um you put it in the fryer and then you eat it with refried beans or you can eat it with butter if you want but you typically use with refried beans. That sounds that does sound good. <laughs> yeah, it's just flour, uh, baking so I mean baking powder. And then, yeah, pretty much all. And then they use coconut milk or actual milk, and then you can be able to mix it up and then mix a dough. And then you need it, uh, and then you can cut it into sections and you need to make a little slit and um and the one you're putting in so it can breathe and then it makes the fry jack. That's cool. So we put in the whole onion. We put in the whole onion. Yes, we cut the whole onion, but we're going to use half of it for right now because we're going to use the other half in our, um, in our other dishes, in our um, beans, we're going to put some in our beans, we're going to put some in our, in our, um, la, 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 in our, in our salsa verde. Oh yeah, believe um, we put um, um, we usually put garlic and bean. I mean, garlic and um, and onion in our in our pre-fried beans too. Yeah, and so it gives it really good flavor. Okay, you heard how my my onions sounded there when I dropped them in. Mm -hmm. You should go try. And so anytime you take meat out of a package, always wash it, okay? This is that your meat? Is that 
your meat or is that your beans? This is um this is the turkey. This is ground turkey. So just kind of break it up a little bit. And the thing is, you guys, we're going to add in, um, we're going to let it cook down for a little bit, and then you're going to add in all your spices. And you can put whatever spices you want, okay? And start cooking. Outside from my bedroom. Destiny, is your meat already cooked already? See yeah. Button. Wonderful. That's good. So yours, yours is ready. I know you're at your, um, I know you're at your sitter. You're with your sitter. Okay. So I'm going to put this here. I have it on a medium high heat and I'm going to cover it down and let it do its thing. And then we'll come back to it and we'll stir it up. Okay. Miss, did it? My mom sent you the video how to make it. Um, yes, yeah, she did. So, hold on. so while your meat is cooking, I have to go warm up my, my meat and beans right now. Say that, Say that again. I have to go warm up my meat meat and beans. My ground turkey, I mean, and my, and my beans. Okay. All right. Okay. Make sure you guys don't have any feedback. Okay. So... Um, what we're going to do next now is we're going to put together our salsa and we're going to put together our, um, we're going to start putting together our, our, our tortillas. Actually, we're going to put together our tortillas next. Let me just follow my instructions here. Tortillas. Look at my instructions. All right. So now we're going to open, oh, we're going to open our, our can of refined beans and we're going to put this in another, um, in a small pot. So this can start warming up as well. We're gonna open your refined beans and then we're gonna okay. My ground turkey has all the vegetables inside. All of them. So we're just going to open our refined beans. And so you may feel like I'm going a little fast. I kind of am because I want us to make sure that we have enough time to do everything. Okay. So like I said, rock and roll with me. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. There's a song about rock and roll. <laughs> yes, there is. Awesome. Okay, let me grab a spoon. Miss, did you see my ground turkey with the vegetables? Yeah, let's see it. When it's done, the turkey can be better up, put it in the microwave. So Show it to you in about five seconds. Okay. Um, when I spoke with Miss Michelle, that I got this recipe from, she said, I do everything from scratch. So we're using refined beans from a can here today, but if you're doing this authentic at home, um, you would let these beans cook. You would soak your beans. Remember, that's the tip for the beans, right? You're gonna soak your beans 
and um, you would soak your beans and then cook them and then you would smash them, right? So that they get like refined beans, okay? And so- My ground turkey's right here. Ooh, that looks good, Destiny. And then my beans are just right here. I just cut them right now. Wonderful, wonderful. So you're ready. Okay, so let's put our um, our beans. And we're going to put, actually, I'm just going to take some of those onions and just sprinkle them in here. And the thing is, we're going to let this cook down and warm up our beans to warm up, okay? So this is gonna warm up. The thing is, we're gonna keep our eye on this because this won't take long to warm up. And you're gonna add a little bit of water just to loosen it up a little bit, okay? And then we're gonna start working on our masa next. Doesn't this look like real meat? The um. Oh, meat, huh? So check on your meat, you guys. You may need to. You're gonna need to stir it up. And let's add in your spices, you guys, to your meat. I think you guys are gonna like the soap. What kind of spices do you guys like to use? We don't use spices because in Mexico we usually don't use spices, which is your salsa verde, the green thing, and that's all we add. We add cream, lettuce, cheese, and um, um, everything else that we like to put it in. Add a little bit of water to your beans, okay? Miss, you know in Mexico they do the the the, the, the what's it called? The tortillas different. Guess what they do? They just put it in that great thing, and then they they push it, and then they put it down, and then they give it to the next person, and then they do it again. And then that's how we get it like this. Yeah. We smash it, and then have something. Ooh. It's like this. Oh, um, like when you do the when you do the press, huh? And like this one. Yeah. It's just like that. That's awesome. After when you guys are done with your beans, we're gonna do the masa. So actually, we're gonna do. I'm gonna. Okay. All right, so we got our beans going. Am I using your phone? Huh? Are you using your phone for something? No. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're looking for Monday's gameplay. Yeah, Monday's gameplay. We're doing Monday's gameplay on two things. I mean, not two things. Um, huh? Put the light out. Okay. Hey, Monday, you
Miss, you know we're there, but I'll tell you when we're doing the massage. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I like pepper flakes. Let me see, maybe I'll put them in right here. I have like the little pepper flakes. So if you like those pepper flakes, you oh. can put them. I think you can put them. We used to always use. I think someone wanted to get some more. We used to always use that. Mhm. Mm yeah. Good. Yeah. For my for my ground um my ground seasoning, I decided mm -hmm. to, um to like do it the top of seasoning. So I did uh a little bit of cayenne, some yeah. uh oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. Pepper. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna try my beans. So the beans, because they're already they're already cooked. So these are already done. So I'm gonna put these to the side and we're gonna work on our our meat is gonna keep going. So check on your meat. And the thing is, we've got to roast. We've got to like um, saute our tomatillos for the um, for the salsa. That's how you say tomatillos. Tomatillos. Like, uh, yeah, I was looking at the um the thing. At first, I got tomatoes, but I was like, oh, he doesn't say tomato. <laughs> no, right, not tomatoes, tomatillos. Yeah. I have to the, is it like a, is it like a, um, uh, I can tell it's like a tomato though, but, like, what yeah. kind, of, like, do you know, like, what species Um, well, I know it's from Mexico, and, um, so it's a, I'm sure it probably is in the tomato family. Is that the hybrid, or something? Um, you know what? That's a good question. I'm not sure if it's a hybrid um, per se, but um, I mean, it it has different, um, like the skin. If you notice, when you peeled off the skin, do you feel how it was kind of sticky? No, I didn't peel it off yet, but um, I know it's okay. like more. So. What are you guys doing next? Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to we are going to saute, we're going to kind of like char our tomatillos and um, our tomatillos and our serrano peppers with some of the onion. I'm actually just going to switch. As you're working with your pots, make sure you're careful because they're really hot. Are we doing it on YouTube today or no, not today? What would you say if we're going to do it? Are we doing it on YouTube today or not YouTube today? I'm sorry, Destiny. I didn't hear you. You said we're, if we're doing our what today? If are we doing YouTube today or we're not? Do you guys? Am I am I not hearing her right? You said, she said it? Yeah, we're doing YouTube, Destiny. Oh yeah, we are. Yeah, so you're you're live, Destiny. This is the Destiny show. So when we start making our masa. Um, 
we're gonna need you to show us how to how to pat it out really well and all that good stuff. When you guys are done with the chile, that's when I tell you how to make the masa. Yes, because we're gonna move from we're gonna make sure everything that we're doing on the stove we're doing on the stove, and then we're gonna um, the masa will be the last thing that we do because after we finish making our um, the sofe, the tortilla, then we'll be able to load it up. And then by that time, everything will be cooked. Everything will be ready. So your beans should be done and to the side, okay? And let's cover down your meat. Your turkey should have sprung a lot of water. And so you want to kind of just keep piecing it up and covering it back down, piecing, cutting it back up when you open it. And we want to let that finish cooking. And in this pan, what we're going to do is we're going to add our serrano peppers and our tomatillo. And Destiny's mom said that what she does, oh, we're also going to put the garlic. So make sure you take two or three cloves of garlic, depending on how much. Um, is Sage here today with us or no? I said, is Sage here today <laughs> with us? I have to do that so you can understand. Yeah, we're gonna have to. I know she has a. Uh, when is Sage gonna come to cooking class with us? <laughs> uh, you know what? I know she has a. Um, I know that she's doing a piano class. Yeah. Piano, I love. Yeah, so I think she's she's doing that right now, and that's why we're not seeing her as much because I think it's the same time. So you guys, when we do your garlic, you're gonna smash your garlic. So if you have a broad knife, like how I do here, you're gonna you can smash your garlic, or if you have, um, or if you um, actually if you have something else that's flat, you can. So you can smash it down on it like this, okay? Christine, let me see your knife. Is your knife a broad knife? So we're doing garlic again? Right, so we're gonna put garlic, well, we're gonna, this is the only garlic we started using right now. Oh, I put, put it garlic. in my meat, okay. I'm no, you can put it in your meat too, that's fine. Oh, okay. Because that's just gonna give it flavor there too. Okay. Actually, if so anybody- we're smashing the garlic? There, um, if you want to add some garlic to your, your meat, go for it. Those are all aromatics. Um, it's going to make your food taste even better. So, so we're smashing the garlic right now? Yes, we're smashing the garlic. So this is going to be when you um, take the tomatillos and um, the serrano peppers, the garlic, and toast them in the pan, it's gonna give it, give it, give this salsa a toasty flavor. Oh. And so I'm using three heads of garlic here and just, just a coarse chop. And if you have your, see to have your blender nearby, because we're gonna toss these in the pan and saute and just like, we're just roasting them. We're not necessarily adding like oil per se. We're not frying them. And then the thing too, so if you want your pepper to be, if you want your salsa to be very spicy, you can put the whole pepper with all the seeds. If you don't want it as spicy, you can cut out the seeds, okay? So do you guys like it really spicy or do you like it kind of spicy? 
I prefer usually spicy. Are we doing Maybe both spicy. peppers or one? Um, you could put both peppers. So cut off the stem. Uh huh. And we could put both peppers. So I'm sorry, I kind of missed the part for the um for the, these. Um, so what do we do with these again? Okay, so you're gonna take off all of the take off the skin. So like yes. a on. So like here's the the skin here. So it's gonna look like this. So you're gonna just peel it out. I think this is like so amazing. It's like its own little like. Fat. I wonder why it grows like that. Yeah, I know that's awesome. I, yeah, because it's like a a wrap around. Yeah, it's like some tomato to, to make it grow. Yeah, but the regular tomatoes can grow on their own. Mm -hmm. So the garlic, uh, we're gonna chop it up. Yeah, so chop it up, of course, because we're gonna blend this all up. Okay. So after we take off the um the hug on the uh the the what was it called again? The tomatillos? Oh, tomatillos? Yeah. Oh, ask your question. After we take the hug off the tomatillos, what do we do after? So after you pull off the skin, um, let's just cut them in half because I think that will make it easy. But even when we put them in the blender and even when we put them in the pan. So just cut them. Actually, maybe you could cut them in fourths. How about that? And I've never had, I'm sure I've had tomatillos in something before, but I've never had tomatillos like this by themselves. Yeah, I never had tomatillos at all. Yeah, so like, I'm gonna take a little piece of it, take a little end and just taste it. Mm, it's like a crunchy tomato. I might plant some seeds for these and, oh, okay. Is it edible like this? That's good. Oh. What does that taste like, you guys? And you know that we don't want to spicy, we use the, keep the, uh, the Sariano peppers, keep the, um, the seeds in, right? Right, if you want it spicy, yeah, keep the seeds in. I want it spicy. The, the heat is in the seeds. Okay. But I you want like habanero pepper and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so the tomatillos, they're edible by itself? I mean, I mean, like, so well. You said the tomatillos? Yeah, they're edible by being cooked. You said they're going to go by themselves? Yeah, they're able, they're able to be eaten while being cooked. Um, you know what? That's a great question. Um, does anybody, um, Miss um, Marlene or... Miss um, Wendy, do you guys know if tomatillos do they normally do you guys normally eat these by themselves or no? I always blend Wendy, it. Where are you from? Look, mine is really sour. I was like, <laughs> my parents are from Mexico, uh -huh. um, from Puebla, but my mom uses that a lot to make salsas, either green salsa, red salsa, yeah, but not the outer shell of it. I mean, I've never tried it. <laughs> okay, well, we're not using the outer. Oh, but yeah, no. Just the, just the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Always for sauces. Ah, got you. Okay, you guys. So I've got a board full here with my, um, with all of these and my garlic and my serrano peppers. So let's toss them into the pan so they can just get kind of toasty. So we get, we doing the garlic, the serrano, the serrano peppers and the tomatillos, right? Oh, See. So we just want to get want them to get a toasty, a toasty Miss, you know how we you said we we're gonna pick up our packages at the little dollar store? We're yeah. gonna go to the winter center and we're gonna pick them up. Can I schedule it for nine, not eight? Do we need to put any oil in the skillet? No. Because we're just getting it up this 
We're not we're not necessarily trying to fry it because remember we're making this into a salsa. Okay. So we're doing mm-hmm. the 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 tomatillos, the garlic, and the peppers. Yes. What salsa are we making? This is a salsa verde. Oh, that we just buy it separately. You know what the masa is for, actually? Tortas, tamales, pepusas, alotes. Miss Cristel, we weren't supposed to buy a, a, a can of salsa, were they? Miss Cristel, were we supposed to buy a, a can of uh, salsa, were they? I think we were making it right. That's that's what we're making with the with, oh, yeah. the, with the tomatillos and the peppers and stuff. Yeah, that's what she said. But I, I could have sworn the ingredients. I said to get um salsa verde, but they should have. Uh, maybe, maybe that was fine. No, yeah, you guys are making it. In... Oh, I think I probably got confused because they have a picture of salsa verde, like the can on the back of the thing. I think that's why I got confused. This, I'm gonna pick up the sopes with these. This, to put it in. Are you working on the chili again? Are you recording more? Miss, have you put up your Christmas tree yet? Christelle. 
I think she's in her kitchen. That's what she's Yes. <laughs> what were you asking, Dustin? Have you put up your Christmas tree up or no? No, I haven't. I need to. When are you going to do it? Me and my mom are going to do it this Saturday or Sunday. Um, I think I'll do it maybe, maybe next weekend. Did you buy the ornaments already? Yeah, we already have, I have ornaments here at my house already. Mm -hmm. Miss, you know how you posted up new stuff? Well, the, the candy cane cherry blossom, I can get that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys, so our pan from here with these tomatillos, we're going to put them into the blender. Okay, for the okay. time, do we add anything when, we cook, when we're cooking them or no? No, you don't need to add any oil because we're just kind of like, um, softening them up and just kind of letting them get that kind of roasted flavor a little bit okay. just from your pan. Okay. So Too fat, put them in a the blender. Got me some cookies for dessert. What kind of cookies? Chocolate chip cookies. Uh, I, I can have some milk. Cookies, and I could also make some really good. Huh? Miss Christelle, did you already blaze your chili? Huh? What, what did you say? What did, uh, Miss Christelle, we can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yep. Okay. So we've got. Uh -oh. We're gonna blend blend the. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna blend. So we want to put in, so in here, put in some of your cilantro. So put in like a good little handful and you can cut off the, you can cut off some of the stems so you get most of the leaves and you can keep the stems because we're going to, we'll use them for when we top the. You said put in some cilantro? Uh-huh. Okay. So put some cilantro in there and still keep the cut off the just cut off the leaves and put them in um we're gonna keep the the, the stems because we'll still use them when we top it on on top of our um sopes after everything okay so we put in some of those in there oh and squeeze a little bit of lime And you're gonna need a little bit of water as well because when you blend, you need some water.
So I'm just gonna do like half of a, a line. Lime juice in there. Oh, and don't forget, oh, we I, look, I, I'm glad I remembered. We have to put our avocado in here too. So let's blend this first and then we're gonna add in our avocado. You guys have your avocado? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. How much water? Um, depending on how much um, is in your blender, I would say put enough to where it covers the bottom of your, like, the base of the blend, the blend the yeah uh-huh because we still want it to be thick and it's gonna be thick but we're gonna add more water as we go okay and i I'll yeah. put the whole avocado the entire yes avocado. you can yes put the whole avocado Okay, so once you got it in, go ahead and blend it away. Start blending it up. I love avocados. I love avocado with sugar. You said you eat them with sugar? No, I love avocado with. Ooh. I've never had it. It's a little fancy fancy. I've never had it with sugar. All right, I'm going to blend it up. So we add the um the tomatillos and then we add some water to fill the bottom and then we add one two, um avocado and some cilantro mm -hmm. and then what else? Um and that's and, it. and lime and some oh, lime. Mm-hmm. And avocado. I, I just uh, I was making sure I didn't miss anything. I just went outside to get some cilantro. When I was grabbing my cilantro, I had grabbed grab a root relaxer, so I'm going to replant this and make a whole new cilantro plant. You didn't have to put a lot of water, just a little bit. So, throw it on the table. That was a big chunk. So take a spoon and taste it. It tastes good. Missy, you know how I told you I love you so much? I love, um, Paris. look, I have the Paris shirt right here. Mmm, ooh. Okay. Probably use a little bit of salt. <laughs> Always salt. <laughs> Miss Thomas, you okay with <laughs> I put the I put both peppers with all everything, so it's hot. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Woohoo! Add, add a little bit of salt. We also add the peppers to this. Miss. Yeah, you just so add on the fork. We like avocado. <laughs> Nice. You know how I told you I love you. I love Paris so much. Or like I have the yeah. Paris shirt right here. Uh -huh. I have it right here. The cute little Eiffel Tower. Says Paris, and I have a Paris book about. Awesome. Oh, you know, I also have Paris curds. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right, now it's time for Masa, you guys. We're making good time. All right. Check on your check on your meat. Oh. Add your can of veggies. Oh, to the meat? To the meat. Do we have to let it cook? Uh-huh. Because remember, the, the vegetables are already cooked. So they're just going to mesh in with what you have already going on in your, with your turkey. Okay. Do we drain the water off the vegetable, off the veggies? Oh, um, yes. Drain the water off your veggies. And look at the... Um, Look at your turkey because if it has a lot of water, we want to start, you may want to grab another bowl and just kind of scoop it to the side. I'm going to show you when I, when I do it and where you take out some of the water, the liquid, because we kind of dry, not super dry, but not soupy. All right, miss, here comes my part. Dried out. So you guys cracking your your um cracking the top of your pot lets the steam come out so that the water can dry out. You said do what? What did you say, Miss Thomas? What did you say do? Um, when you crack the top of your your pot, like if you have a lot of water in it. Oh, okay. When you crack the top of your pot, the steam will come out. Okay. And yeah, the steam will come out so the water can dry out. Uh, you guys made our dough with some mixed vegetables. Mine has a mixed vegetable. Then the vegetables. And you know what, you guys? Check on your meat and give it a taste. Look at it. Make sure it's cooked. And you can try a piece of it. Does it need anything? Does it need any salt? Does it need some more seasoning? All right, we got to start on our tortilla. Clean mustard. Hmm? Do you need masa or the... I think you guys are seeing my pot. You guys are seeing the, the, the burner. Huh? You can add a little bit of salt to your turkey. So now we're going to do the um, the sofa. Yeah, let's add the tortillas. Okay. So if your turkey is if your turkey's already cooked, great. You want to turn down, you can turn on that fire. Hmm? 
Do we add the vegetables? What'd you say if we added the which one? Do we add the vegetables to the uh, meat? Yeah, add the vegetables to your meat, yes. Miss Castell, this weekend I'm going to try making egg rolls. I can't, you're paused. I mean, you're muted. Let me learn. You say you're going to make egg rolls? Egg rolls, yeah. From Ooh. the leftover turkey. Remember the recipe they posted on Band? Yeah. To make egg rolls from the leftover turkey? Uh huh. I'm going to do that this weekend. Nice. I want to try it. With, with That's good. And with because the egg rolls, huh? the only thing is the, the egg rolls, the only thing is the, it's just the, the skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to, I brought Miss, what are you doing? So I'm going to do some cabbage and saute it and put it in there and roll it up. I might just do some Chinese food. Ooh. Yeah. I love Chinese food. Oh, uh, do you? I didn't yeah, know. I like that chopping or chicken, Ooh, yeah. broccoli. Austria is kind of Asian, and I like it there. Oh uh, yeah. I go you guys like Austria? I go to uh, Panda Express. I go to Chinese food. That's what it's called. Next oh, to Margarito. Oh wow. Margarito is where I got this bracelet of God, and it gives me powerful. Aww. Yeah. It's pretty. So you guys, we're ready to mix our tortillas. So we're going to take some of the, we're going to take our masa, and we're going to use, we're going to make two cups, we're going to take two cups of this. Two cups of masa? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. oh. I thought I was going to do the masa part. Well, come on, Destiny. Let's do it. And we pour the two cups in, right? Because Destiny, you're going to show us. Two cups of masa. Okay. So, um, so, is this masa the corn husk or no? This is a gluten free. It's for tortillas, tamales, pupusas, um, empanadas. Adelante. So it's actually it's a mix for tortillas. Yeah. Yeah, so let's make a make a middle, make a. Uh, so you're gonna do two cups, and you said make a middle. Yeah, yeah I put water in it. Make a hole in the middle. Two cups. And make a hole um, in the middle. We're gonna take a teaspoon of baking soda. A teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. And we're actually gonna mix it with water first before we pour it in. The baking soda is gonna be our like rising agent. A teaspoon of baking soda. And we're, we're gonna use our hands for two. We're gonna use our hands to mix it with yeah. the soap. We not are gonna use our hands to make to mix it together. And mix it with water. So mix it with some water. And how, mu how much water? I don't have my phone with the recipe, so. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna mix. Um, we're going to do one teaspoon of baking soda and then for the water, um, it will be, let's do, we can do like, um, like two thirds of a cup. Two thirds of a cup of water. And add more because the thing is what you're looking for is consistency. Destiny's mom said, she said, whenever the ancestors tell me to stop. <laughs> okay. All right. So. 
Are you ready to make it now? Okay. So we're going to put a teaspoon of the baking soda. Oh, we're gonna put it. We're gonna put the teaspoon with baking soda in the water. So put it in like another like little cup. A teaspoon of baking soda. Do I teach you how to mix it or no? Yes. Oh. Teaspoon. We're gonna pour. So teaspoon of baking soda in the water. I already know. I already did that. In the water. Huh? We're gonna pour about two thirds and just let that dissolve the baking. The baking soda first. Okay. Mm -hmm. so Tell me when you guys are done. Okay. So now we're going to pour in the middle. And Destiny, you're going to show us how do we mix our, our tortillas. Okay, so the first thing I would do is just press it down a little bit and then I get my hand and then mix it all around. But you have to go in there deep on the bottom. You have to put all that and then you got to do the same thing again. Say that again, Destiny. Oh, there she is. So you have, to, you have to put it down a little bit and then you have to get your hand and put it all the way in the bottom. And then you put it like this, and then you go like this, and then you do it again. Go around. So I need, like, I'm looking at mine, I can use some more water, like how Destiny's pouring more water. So pour more water into your thing as you go. Oh, yeah, and then you're also going to want to do this. If it doesn't go that good, you can just spin it around like that, and then put it on the bottom. That's a good thing. Um... So we're just making it into a dough? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, this is just how you make the uh, fry jacks. Well, exactly. But, but like, you know, the mixing technique. <laughs> yep. So we're getting all of our hands in here. Woo! Okay, I'm trying to have a tortilla party over here. My tortilla is trying to escape the bowl. So as you're adding water, you're, like Destiny said, you're taking your hand and bringing it from the outside to the inside. Mm -hmm. so you want to get a nice um, ball. So and it water, has to be hard and rough in order to make the fill face. You say it has to be a little rough to it? And hard. Yeah, because so, not kind of that hard. Let's see, I'm gonna grab some more water. So you see how mine is really like crumbly. So if yours is crumbly, that means you're so you gotta you gotta um, add some more water so now it can start binding closer together. Okay. Are. Your turkey should be so the something has to be like this. This is a big like that. Destroy. That's either a yes or a no. Now, turkey should be done, you guys. Um, you, can, you can turn it off if your turkey is finished. So that's me, can we see your, your dough? How does it come in? Is it smooth and round? Yeah, I just just put it again. 
I'm going to be back and forth to get my property. Did he say to you? Oh, they go like this. Exactly. You said no. Okay. Why are you And once you were done mixing it with it and it's really light, you are going to go wash your head after. Then I'm going to show you how to make the little baby balls. Yeah, and this, yeah, I like how you're kneading it. That's good. Mm -hmm. He's doing a great job with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. So you guys, right now it's 420. Time check. So the thing is we have to be done by 430. So I know we're going to start after we wash our hands we'll start making some of the um we'll put some of the sopes to fry oh so you know what destiny what you need to show us so we so we don't wash our hands just yet because remember we have to roll we have to um put the little circle you have to put the so what are you gonna do when you roll the circle you get some of your masa mm -hmm. a little bit or how much is you want and then you just go like this, your head. Just keep on doing it until it's nice to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like a ball. Yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. Farmer Boy's new spicy fried chicken sandwich is kicked up with our fiery barber sauce, which is like mom. Okay. So when we got the ball, what do we do next, Destiny? And then you get your hand and then you put it gently on the box. Uh, mm -hmm. But make sure your hand doesn't get stuck to it. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Where's that fan? And then don't you go like this where you hit it side to side? Yeah, and then if, if it comes, you have to put it like this, but just mine is sticky. I forgot to add the baking soda and I, and I didn't forget. Okay. Okay. Ooh, you're professional. No, look at her. Oh, yeah, Destiny. <laughs> So let's grab a plate because you can we can roll out some of these and we're gonna put them to fry. And I think we can fry up a couple before our time. Okay. And then we'll have the rest to finish, okay? So we just keep going, keep making are they supposed to be really keep on making them until your masa's done and it's off and that's all oh god. What'd you say if they're really supposed to be? Are they supposed to be really flat or Kind of like, like I would say like half an inch. They have to be thick. Okay. You said kind of thick, Destiny? Okay. No, they, they have to be thick. And then if you see like scratches, just get there and it go like this. And like get the edges. Yeah. So um so not too I think not too thin, but not too thick either. Okay. Like this? Yeah. Like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's roll out a couple of these and then we're gonna put them in the pan to fry and we're just gonna turn them on each side until they're cooked. Okay. Another one. Roll into a ball. And then she said, press it down. I got my pan ready to fry. Well, I have the oil. Yes, in. that's good. Yeah, you could put some oil in your pan. So actually, we can move over to the pan and actually start putting these in the pan to fry in the meantime. 
Oh, while we're making the others, yeah. Exactly. So come on, this is what, you guys, this is what your moms are doing when you're, so they got, they have you doing your homework, they cooking the meat, they cooking the thing, all that stuff at the same time. I cannot wait to try this. It sounds good. I know. Okay, let me go get my pants. It's a good one. Be honest, I told you, but I've been eating way less. Like, what do you mean? Like, I never really ate, like, out um, a lot, but since I've been doing your cooking classes, I've been eating way less and really been in the kitchen more. And wow. usually, yeah, usually my mom likes to cook, but lately she's been um, cooking with me. It's usually my dad who likes to cook. Yeah. But at the same time, my dad, he likes to make his food a little bit unhealthy. And <laughs> That's why I don't really cook with him that much, but my uh, my mom, she's more, she likes to keep more healthy. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, you guys, like, I love Alicia, I love how you're, you're doing healthy, a healthy alternative, because the thing about food is, we always want to make sure it tastes good, but ultimately, we always want to make sure that our food, we also want to make sure that our food is, um, because our food is keeping us alive. Yeah. So we want to live, you want to live a long life and eat healthy. Yeah, because one of my biggest reasons I um I stopped eating meat was because of my dad, like, I know this shit, like, uh, he kept like, having problems because of me. And ever, yeah. like, stop eating, like, less meat. I know this is his health has been improving. So that's why um, I like not eating, I feel like it has a lot of negative side effects. Then mm-hmm. I feel like plants. I don't know, but I mean, also at the same time, there are some plants that aren't healthy for you at all. Like they may have artificial flavoring and stuff. But yeah, you know, look at the ingredient. Yeah, that's true. So it's important for you to look at what you're, what you're cooking, what you're eating. It makes a big difference. This is really fun. You guys, for the sake of time, um, I wanted to put... Let's fry... Let's at least fry two, you guys. Two or three. Two or three, and let's put them in the pan. Put as many as they could fit in your pan. Do we put vegetable oil or olive oil? Um, you can put some of the um, you can put some of the vegetable oil, but really, whichever kind of oil you prefer is fine. You put it just enough to fry, like fry it. Don't. So one thing um, Destiny's mom was telling me was that you can make these soap base um, flat, or you can make them with the curve, with the curve, oh, yeah. edge, almost like a little bowl. Yeah, I've seen them in the store with the curve. Uh huh. So you can curve it up. So it just is up to you. Um, I'm gonna press them more out. What's the red plate I gave you? Can I see your green bowl? Yes. Yeah. How much? How much was? Thing Mr. Shell? Yeah. How much grease do you have? How many? What do I have? Oh, your grease. I was trying to see how is it cover. How how? Oh how, yeah, it's a shallow. It's a shallow fry. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we're not deep frying it. Um. We're going to let it cook on each side. Um, 
Yes. Um, what was that? I can't hear you. The <laughs> I was asking um, if you don't mind going over to um, the room for um, our cap meeting. Because I know they're going to get there for 430. Oh, yeah. Just for prep. And you can make me the host. No. OK. Uh, bye, you guys. I'll see you OK, guys. bye, Miss Marley. Now, when we fry it, are we waiting till it brown on one side? And yes. Flip it over? Uh-huh. So check it. And you can kind of see. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see how the like side is brown versus yeah. lighter brown? Yeah. So then that lets you know that it's doing really good. And then just turn it over. And the thing is, you can make it bigger so that it can curve up on the size if you like. It's almost like when we did the salmon. Yeah. With the, only that they're with only the that plantain. these are yeah right. Those are plantains. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm actually going to be making um, making some for um, um, some close friends of mine. What some, some close yeah. Oh, that that is so good. Yes, I uh, totally, I thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed those stuff, Tony. I'm I sad. I'm gonna make them again. Yeah, I'm sad I missed the plantain one because I, I love plantain. Yeah. Oh, and guess what, you guys? So next week. Because um, next week, we're actually going to do our Belize. We're going to travel to Bel Belize. <laughs> so um, our, last, our last Friday of the class, um, or that last Friday, which would be the 18th, we're actually not going to have any classes and activities happen on that last day. That last day will be the day that you guys come by the center and pick up all of your prizes right. and gifts from the Wound Center. Um, you go, we're going to have a drive through um, pickup. So, this is the is it where we got our food at? The eggs and the milk and all that stuff? Um, yes. Well, not eggs, but um, it's where you came to get your, to come and get your veggie box. So I at least have, so if you at least have one um, tostone or two tostones ready, I want us just to stack it up. Because the thing is, I'm going to leave you guys, because peanut, we have to get ready for the next activity. Right. You're going to finish making the rest of your tostone. To, I mean, I'm about to say tostone. <laughs> We're so pissed. <laughs> Look, I'm thinking tostones on the brain. Um, but um, we're going to load them up. So then you'll know how to load it up for your other when you finish doing all your other ones, okay. you're gonna load them up the same way, okay? So like these two of mine are are pretty much done for the most part and you kind of want to check it a little bit. I'm gonna kind of take my spatula there and just kind of cut it and make sure it's cooked inside. Mmm, oh, that's good. And it's crispy. Oh, that's good. So taste your Taste your tostone. I mean, taste your sope. Okay. So take your take your sopes. Do you guys at least have two of them? Yeah. Okay. So when you pot, when you stack it up, you're gonna put the sopes first. Then you're going to take some of your refined beans and put it on top of that. So put like a smear of it. Oh, 
fast, beans. Then put some of your meat. So fast, beans, and what else? So, so fast, beans, mm -hmm. your meat. Mm -hmm. After your meat, we're gonna put the salsa and the um and your queso fresco and your um and your sour cream and lettuce con cilantro también so we're going to put some cilantro also so being me lettuce queso fresco Sour cream. Sausage, beans, meat, lettuce, salsa, and queso fresco. Lettuce. Miss Christelle, your your microphone is muted. Things meat salsa. And what oh and cake so first. Okay. Mm -hmm. So even so lettuce. You can chop some lettuce to go on top. You know what I was able to find? Shredded right. green leaf lettuce. Ooh. I was surprised because usually they only have the ice version that is shredded. Ah. You know what? I just got some like um um well like you said you got it shredded. I just got like some regular um I guess it's kind of in like in the romaine family. Um and I'm just gonna cut it. And so we're gonna make it shred it. So however you prefer, however you wanna do it is good. So that's good that you found that um, the shredded ones, Miss Thomas. So that. I was just being careful because D2 is not cooking with me. So, and I didn't wanna be hurting. So some yeah. stuff I have to get already prepped. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, we, but I don't. I don't like iceberg lettuce. Yeah, iceberg lettuce doesn't have any nutrients, you guys. No, and it's still yeah. be cold now. Iceberg what? lettuce has no nutrients. Iceberg lettuce. I heard it before, but I forgot. What is that? Again? So you always want to get a darker green lettuce, like a romaine. Or like I got, um, I got these, these lettuce here. Leaf lettuce. Green, it should look green. It shouldn't look white. Right. Or, or like a light green. It should be a dark green. The darker green your, your, your lettuce is, mm -hmm. the, 
the better it is for you. Remember, our food, food is what gives us energy. If your food is not alive, then how do you expect to be alive? How do you expect to have energy, right? right. So, we so the queso fresco is the last thing that we put on? Yes. The queso, actually the queso fresco and the sour cream. Oh, the sour cream. I forgot about that. So you're going to crumble your queso fresco? Yeah. Right on top. Like that. I like queso fresco. Ooh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Woo. I blended my refried beans. I brought beans and, and blended them. Okay, got you. With yeah. garlic and onion. Ooh. And put a little dollop of your sour cream on top. All right. And there we go, you guys. We've got homemade sopes. Oh, and we could put some of the salami. Yes, I have a question. Sure. Um, didn't you say you're getting eight? Say it again. You said, didn't I say? Didn't you say you were going to tell me how many wooden dollars I have? Yeah, I can. How many do I have? You have. All right, so are you guys ready to eat? Yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I heard some people said yes, and I heard somebody said. Did somebody say no? Is that, uh, oh, oh, I forgot. I'm going to go warm up the meat and beans right now. Don't talk because yes. I don't know. So that's the, you have $189. $189. Ooh. $189? Uh-huh. $189. This can is too much like, open. Oh, hurt. Hey, are you guys ready for us to eat together? Oh, Miss Christelle, which sour cream do you like? Do you like Daisy or or Nixon? Um, you know what? I'm not. Um, I don't necessarily have like a like a favorite or yeah. anything like that. I just you know, do <laughs> sour cream. <laughs> I asked because I was in the store. Yeah. And I know Nissen is like, you know, the ultimate one everybody get. But then, you know, Daisy comes out and I'm like, which one should I get? I don't know which one tastes better on the sofa. <laughs> oh, man. I was kind of playing around with it. I end up getting Daisy. Okay. Yeah, I did actually got a I got a Daisy one. Um and I got it because it wasn't too it wasn't too large. So it was this size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it wasn't too big. Okay, you guys, how are you looking? Okay, I'm done. Ready to ready to take a bite? Well, we gotta take a picture first. Yes, take a picture, take a photo. Mm -hmm. Picture, picture. Oh my camera. And send me your photos, you guys. Miss, what was what is one hundred and nine minus thirty? Look, you should be telling me that. No, because I'm gonna buy my sister something for Christmas from there. Oh, that's awesome! So remember, you have one hundred and eighty-nine. This number in the chat, I'm gonna put it in the chat, okay? Okay, let's taste it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Mmm. 
Destiny. This is so good. Oh, it's loading. Yeah, it's loading. No. Okay, guys. Something on my face. Did I press the right one? Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, too late. I have to go get my meat and beans right now. Thank you, Destiny. So this is good. This is good. How about you, how, Christine and Kayla, how are you guys doing? Come on, Alicia. Come with that beautiful presentation. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was cleaning up my station. <laughs> Wow. I need to see what fancy plate you bought. Right. Always a plate. Did you see my post yesterday? What'd you say? I said, cooking class is fun. And I said, destiny makes sure that we have all the directions right. She sure I does. said, Alicia... Does great presentation. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Since, since I just got um six that? million dollars, I get a hundred and a hundred and eighty. Alicia, what's on the side? Side? No, you know, what did you put there? Oh, you did four. Oh, look how she dribbled it around the cross. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, you know how I got a hundred and eighty nine million dollars plus the six months Miss um Miss Marley gave me? That's a hundred and eighty nine. Well, the dollars that are that the 189 is what you're going to spend. The six from today will go towards your next Wooten Dollar store. Mm. Okay, you guys, I got to go. Okay. Bye. Enjoy the soap. This is awesome, Destiny. Thank you for showing us how to make it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you next week, not next week, another three weeks, how to make the enchiladas we make in Mexico. There's a different Ooh. kind. That's a vegetable one that we made. It's a different kind. Okay. So next week, you guys, we're going to Belize. Mm -hmm. Where is Belize is from? Miss, next time when you go to go to Paris. You know what? That could be one of the countries we go to for in the spring semester. Mm. And in the spring semester, we're gonna make Miss Tracy's famous German chocolate cake. Woo! Oh, we are? Oh my gosh. As we are, Miss Thomas, I'm gonna let you know when we which week we're gonna do it. That can't be <laughs> so, <laughs> It's gonna be fun. So we're gonna make oxtails. They are oxtails, good. oxtails with with rice and beans. Yes. Potato salad. Yes. So, and, and plantain. <laughs> <laughs> we could do some plantains with it. You could. You. I like the plantains with it. The sweet yeah, fried yeah. one, time. Yeah, the soft ones, yeah. Alicia, the sweet fried ones, the ones that we fried with the fish, those were good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was new, so I didn't even get to try Oh, oh, mm. man. Yeah. But yes, Miss Thomas, those sweet ones like what we fried with the fish. But yeah, plantain is like a big thing in Belize. Mm. Okay. Okay, so we got to do plantain, because that's where you're from. So we're going to do like home. <laughs> okay, you I guys. I, I forgot to put the verde, the salsa verde on it. Bye. Okay. Like a mountain. Yes, put your salsa verde. Mm. My salsa is, it has a, a really good kick. Miss mm -hmm. Christelle, what do you want for Christmas? I'm going to be with family. That's nice. No, what do you want? Oh, what do I want for Christmas? <laughs> um, hmm. Ooh, I want money to go towards my trip because I want to go to Italy. Ooh. So Besides open, that. Once we open back up, I could be like, I'm on the plane. And I want to go I want to go on a food tour. So not just like any tour. I want to go on a food tour and I want to eat my way through Greece, Italy, <laughs> France, London, Korea. Yeah, I know you want to go to Korea. <laughs> And you're gonna come no, Miss. Besides home. money, going to another um, um country. Besides that, um, besides that, <laughs> what would I like? I love jewelry. I don't know if you know. It's like I can hear you, jewelry. I love jewelry. I love all 
kinds of things. I How about I drop it off? Are you gonna be outside when when I get my um my yes, my gift? I'm, yes, I'm gonna be there on the 18th. Yes, ma'am. Yes, just I really, I really gotta go now, Destiny, and everybody. So yeah, okay. it was fun, and so I see. Delicious. I know it's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So enjoy, and then I love it. Hi guys, I don't want to waste Mr. Stell's time. Bye, Mr. Stell. Bye, you guys. Tell me if you see Mr. Casey, Mr. Casey, okay? All right, see you. See you. Bye. Bye, Kayla. Bye, Christine. Bye, Miss Thomas. Bye, Alicia. Bye, Miss Stell. Can you hear me? Say bye. Yeah. <laughs>